George. That button really works. Black widows make the best webs. They really catch the dust. possessed you to buy a motorcycle. Why, it expose you to the fresh air as well as the sun. And those leather trousers. How are you supposed to get scrapes with those? I know, but it's what all the other Hells Angels are wearing. Perhaps I could talk to them about initiating a new dress code. Grandpa, where's Pugsley? Pugsley? Yes, the two of you left this morning, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, let me see. He was right behind me when I backed up on that freeway ramp. You don't suppose the little rebel has snuck off to school, do you? Ah, here's our boy now. <laughs> nice looking bruises, son. Uh, uh, ah. Fine looking fellow, isn't he? Fester, do you know where Gomez is? I haven't seen him since he went out looking for Cousin Winkle. I'm sure he's fine. Or at least better than Grandpapa. So you've noticed Grandpapa Adam's odd behavior, too? Noticed? Noticed? Morticia face facts. He's lost it. Uh-oh. Here comes the nut now. Morticia? Fester? If anybody's looking for me, tell them I'm out dragging the rivers. Grandpapa, aren't you a bit, well, mature to go river dragging? Yeah. Shouldn't you be dueling windmills instead? Nonsense! I'm as fit today as I was when I was 16. Grandpapa. Please sit down. I'm sorry, Morticia. I've got to keep going. Going! Going! He's gone, gone, gone. C'est la vie. That's French. God of me. Speak some more. Soup du jour. La plume de ma tante. Crap, Suzette. Grandpapa. Charles de Gaulle. Grandpapa. I'm afraid I must uh, tender my apologies. I must have lost myself for a minute. You see, whenever I hear French, something comes over me. Good thing Cousin Winkle came back and let me out of his coffin. Just in time, too. Grandpapa, yes. will you excuse us? I need to speak to Gomez alone. Oh, of course. We need to talk. Care to join me in a nightcap? No, thanks. I prefer to sleep in the buff. Tish, being separated from you all day was more than I could bear. Darling, I missed you too. But we've got quite a problem with Grandpapa Adams on our hands. So take him off our hands. Put him on Fester's hands. Put him on Thing's hand. Put him on Dishpan hands. Grandpapa first. Grand passion later. And now, about Grandpapa Adams. He's been acting very strangely. Well, he did knock me into Cousin Winkle's coffin without asking permission. You don't think he's... I'm afraid so. The loss of his dear Delilah must have taken a greater toll on him than we thought. Not to worry. He can come and live with us. Darling, that's a noble idea. But I'm afraid Grandpapa may need professional help. Then we'll hire movers. That's not exactly what I had in mind. <gasps> Narcoma Nursing Home. Giving patients all the rest they need and more. Miles from the nearest hospital, so no annoying sirens. $100,000 non-refundable deposit. Reasonable, too. Call now for a doctor evaluation. I suppose it doesn't hurt to get an expert opinion. Maybe you're right, Tish. Narcoma Nursing Home? Oh, well, nothing like a good river dragging to make you feel alive. Come on, great grandpapa. Let's go bungee jump from an overpass. Oh, great idea. But why stop at an overpass? Why not leap from the tallest building? Parachute from a craggy cliff. 
weighed in a kiddie pool. Be force-fed in a nursing home. Cool! Great-grandpapa, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Except that Gomez and Morticia want to send me to an old folks' home to rot in a metal bed. Great-grandpapa, they would never send you away. They only do that to their male offspring after his 12th birthday. You said they were sending me to Club Dead. Club Dead isn't a nursing home. It's a resort. Club Dead? Swinging singles club for people over 50. Booze, schmooze, and snooze. Looks like they've thought of everything. Ha! Huh. Let our club coordinator visit your home and plan a trip specially suited to your needs. Oh, I hope they have roast yak. Pan fried sticks to my teeth. But don't tell mother and father. They want it to be a surprise. No, oh, no, no. Don't worry, children. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> News. Ah, Dr. Crutch. I'm Morticia Adams, and this is my charming husband, Gomez. So nice of you to perform the evaluation. Well, at Narcoma Nursing Home, we try to make our patients delirious. I mean, deliriously happy. Grandpapa! Hey, Gomez, Morticia! I love what you've done with the bed! Why, those spikes are so pointy, you can puncture a lung! <laughs> Grandpapa, we'd like to talk to you about something. Of course, I always have time for my uh, favorite grandson, his lovely wife. Uh, anyway, Morticia and I have been noticing that you seem a little out of sorts lately. Oh, thank you. I try my best. Uh, anyway, uh, we think that maybe you could use a rest. A long rest? With some professional guidance. Well, I couldn't agree more. When do I leave? Then you're not adverse to the idea of going away for a while? To the contrary. The longer the better. It's something I should have done years ago. It's worse off than we thought. Well, then, I guess it's all settled. Yes. You won't regret this, Grandpapa. Dr. Cratchit, Grandpa Adams. Ooh, pleased to make your acquaintance, Doctor. This is the patient. Evaluation over. Let's go. Boys? Take him away. Oh, look at this. Ah, footrests. This really is a deluxe resort. Now, we want to be sure Grandpapa Adams is comfortable. Are the rooms nice? Are they well insulated? Well, we have a few that are padded. Splendid. I'll take one of those. Let's go. Schnell. ta -ta. Don't forget to scroll. I won't. Darling, do you think we did the right thing? That Dr. Cratchit seemed rather curt. Always a sign of a good doctor. No bedside manner. Besides, Grandpapa really wanted to go. True. You'd almost think he was leaving on vacation. Tell me, are the single women at the club as attractive as Dr. Cratchit? I really love her scowl. so shiny, I can see myself. <laughs> Look, dear, it's Grandpapa Adams. Grandpapa, back already? The club burned down. Too bad. I was beginning to enjoy those spinal taps. How'd you start the fire this time? Oh, I didn't. Deandra did. Deandra? Everyone, I want you to meet my new wife, Deandra. I took one look at her, and sparks flew. Then again, she was holding a blowtorch. How romantic. We leave tomorrow for our honeymoon to Africa. It's a little sunny, but I hear the brush fires are spectacular. Funny. You remind me of someone. A toast. To one big, happy family. Cheers.